Hey everybody, I'm Sean Powers and I'm here to help you learn everything, do what you love, and most importantly, be kind. Now, thanks to the people over here, uh, my Patreon supporters, I am able to do all sorts of various creativity-based things, like my webcomic. And my webcomic it has a new Mastodon account. Mastodon is kind of the newest thing everybody's talking about. And I want to make sure that my webcomic's Mastodon account is verified. And to do that, you have to add a tag on your main website. It can be a little bit confusing, especially if you're using a hosted platform like WordPress, because you may not have uh, an easy or obvious way to add the rel equals me tag in the link going to your Mastodon profile. So if you're in that situation, I want to show you today how to set up a verified link, even if your website is hosted on something super user friendly like WordPress. So down here, I have two things up. This is my Big Round World website. This is the actual uh, WordPress website where I host my comic. Uh, and you'll see I have links to the various social platforms up here in this menu bar at the top. So what I want to do is add a link that says Mastodon right here so that when people click on it, it comes over to here which is my uh, Mastodon instance. And, and this is the my big round world at nerdlings.net account. You'll see it's here, it's fresh. I don't have anything listed as far as websites go. So what I'm gonna do is set up a link to my Mastodon profile in WordPress using that special rel equals me tag. And then I will come back to Mastodon and edit my profile point it to my website, and as long as I do both of those things, it will then be uh, verified, ideally. I haven't done this. We're doing this in real time. So uh, over here on my Big Round World, I have another tab where I'm actually logged into the web interface. And those links across the top are actually part of the menu system. So I'm going to go into Appearance and Menus. And it's probably done this way on your site too. Usually links across the top are a menu and that's exactly what it is here. And you'll see I have uh, these, they're called custom link items where uh, you tell it, you know, where that menu item goes. And I have home, which just takes me to uh, the website itself, you know, this, this website. And then I have uh, my Twitter account and, and all the others. So I want to add another one, custom links, and I'm going to add the link http colon slash slash mastodon.nerdlings.net forward slash at my big round world. Now, the reason I put the entire domain uh, starting with Mastodon is because in order for this link to work, uh, you need to have the entire domain name to the instance. Like for example, if you look, I don't know if you can see it on the thing, but my actual handle is just at my big round world at nerdlings.net. However, when I'm making the link, I want to link to the entire site. You'll see it redirects to Mastodon nerdlings.net. In fact, I, in fact, I could have just copied this and pasted it right in instead of typing it out. Uh, but anyway, I pasted it in there. And then the text that I want to show up in my menu, like where it says uh, over here, home, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, I just wanted to say Mastodon. It doesn't matter what you call it as long as it makes sense. Um, but that's what I want it to be. So I'm going to add that to the menu. And now sure enough, Mastodon is down there. But there's no way that's obvious where I can add that rel equals me tag uh, that will allow it to verify on mastodon well to do that if you go to the top of this menu editor up here where it says screen options drop that down if you check this box that says link relationship so it will show advanced menu properties including link relationship xfn and then we can pop that back down now, when we come down here, we'll see that it has link relationship, another field that we can add that we weren't able to add before. And this is the rel equals part. So in this field, all I need to do is put me, and then that will add the tag rel equals me uh, in the final link. So we just put me in there and click save menu. And now if we come back to my main page, it's just another tab, hit refresh. Now Mastodon is there, and we knew that, I know that we added that me, uh, rel equals me thing by adding me in that field. So now before uh, we click on it, let's come over here. Now this is on my Mastodon instance, and I'm going to click Edit Profile. And here in my profile, if you scroll down, here's where we have the option. And it actually tells you what you need to paste in there. But again, with WordPress, there's not really a great place to paste code, right? So this is um, already done for us. So I just need to say... 
website. I can name it whatever in the label. And then the content is going to be where that website is. And it happens to be, I will copy and paste this time, over here, mybigroundworld.com. Just going to copy that, come over here, paste it in. And then if I save my changes and then go back to Mastodon, and now you'll see my big round world is there with a green check mark. And that's how we verify. That's all you have to do. Even if you have a WordPress site, it's not too bad to add that, that tag. You just need to know where to do it. And it's up in those screen options inside the menu editor uh, of WordPress. Now it's not a perfect system. You could still like, uh, somebody could hack your website and then verify a different profile, or they could buy a domain that is close to what yours is, set up a new instance and verify with that thing that looks like it's the right website. But to get that green check mark and to tie your website to your Mastodon account, that's how you do it. And it's not too bad even if you have WordPress. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope this was helpful and I'll see you at the next video.